North Yorkshire's traffic cops. Crash, 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 crash. 140 mile an hour. How stupid are you? Driving down crime in England's largest county. Don't lie to me. Stone, stone, stone. Across 3,000 square miles. Your vehicle's been stolen by an ambulance heading towards. Dealing with danger on the roads. What the bloody hell are you doing? Mail is trapped in the vehicle upside down. Under pressure. Go over there and I will speak to you. Come on, mate, talk to us. Out! You're under arrest. I don't want to move. And at risk. Tell me what I can't see. Right, you're under arrest. Cuts off. Right, you've had enough. That's serious organised crime level. Any more strikes, mate, you're going to go to prison. Around every corner. He's going to kill somebody. Why haven't you stopped? There's a new challenge. For the traffic cops. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Coming up. Just ahead. I'll be there for you. Oh, good job that didn't make contact. Dangerous drivers putting lives at risk. Throwing bottles at us. Taunting officers live online. He's basically throwing out at me in a minute, boss. You've got a vehicle, Stop. Out of control and high on drugs. Get yourself out now before your mate gets locked up. Yeah, it's definitely a faint one on cocaine. <laughs> and refusing to stop. And it is over the stinger. On the floor now! Get down! If you give them an half an inch, they'll take it, and more. Right, David, this is Aikham. Quite close to the city. You can get into York really easy, getting on foot. Little shops and quite a big supermarket in the middle. Traffic cop Rich Clark is on patrol with his new partner, Mark Davey, who's transferred from West Yorkshire. I thought, I'll move to North Yorkshire. It's a nice rural area. We'll see where that takes us. First day in paradise. All right. False control, how can I help? So I can see that you're upset by the situation. Have you got any further information for me at the moment? At Force Control, there's reports that three men have gate-crashed a house party and stolen a car and two bicycles. 7-4. Received. Joining Mark and Rich in the search for a stolen red Fiesta is traffic cop Sergeant Rich Harrison. Has he got previous for fail to stop, then? So it's an officer that he drove at. The names that have been put up of the lads that are potentially taking it, you know, the names that we all know really well, the career criminals, their eyes are on stalks, you know, they'll see police vehicles from miles off. So, yeah, I'll give a shout on Channel 15 a few minutes. Plenty of other units out looking for it as well. I'll just spin it in here. Oscar Romeo, 4 7 there. Got a sight of the vehicle now. It's contact, contact. Speed's 5 0 and a 3 0. It's uh, right, right, right. The vehicle looks as though it's potentially free up. Um, male driver, stand by. Just been sighted now. Can't do right behind. It's a stolen motor vehicle. On seeing us, the vehicle is made off. Um, we've illuminated the blues and it's uh, fell stop. We're TPAC trained. Uh, can I further TPAC resources uh, towards, please? As the chase heads towards the city centre, accelerating away from us. Control pick up the pursuit on CCTV cameras. Vehicle still water end, currently 5 0 in a 3 0. Approaching uh, junction standby. Oh, look at that. Oh. Speed at this stage 5 0. Police behind us, Bush. You know, a new two beamers, Bush. Inside the stolen car, a male passenger is live streaming the chase. Look at that, Bush. Oh, we're not messing about, mate. Listen, mate. My old Bush. Right, me and the two bikes must be front yeah? Here we go, must... He's driving towards other cars. Whip it back, whip it back, whip it back, whip it back! Why would you do that? The driver's really up the ante, and it's all part of him trying to say, well, I can help, you know, I'll race you, I'll take you. Wham! Wham! Yo! Approaching junction, stand by. 
There are now four cop cars tailing the stolen car, and more are heading into the area. Vehicle's now water lane, water lane. The shoot takes a right-hand turn into a street. It's got quite big speed bumps. It's very difficult to go fast up there. So my thought process is right. If I go around the block here, I might be able to get a stinger out, get its tyres popped and get it slowed down. It's still there going to back to the I don't think it's me. It's a boy on drive like him in the speed bump. But we're reaching these speed bumps now in the 60s, 70s. As the suspects taunt the police, Rich gets ahead to place a stinger. Two beamers must be there. Watch over to his ball ring now, watch. Watch over to his roundabout, watch. These bikes getting thrown out at me in a minute, watch. Wait, I'm breaking around his ball ring, watch. Go around him. Where are you? I've misjudged how fast they've decided to want to go over them speed bumps. That results in them coming head towards me, and it's going to work. Oh, I just missed that. That was close. I need to go back. Well, this is close. But to them, there was no fear. It was, get out of the way, we're coming through. Get tight. Yes, receive. Get tight, get tight. Uh, speed is 6-0. Yes, approaching the traffic light junction. Uh, stand by for direction. With six cars in pursuit, the suspect takes even more risks. It's overtaking vehicles the opposite side of the carriageway. Ahead, an officer is waiting with a stinger. What's he throwing out? Go, go. bottles on us. Just ahead. I'll be there for you. I've not got him. If you give them an half an inch, they'll take it. And more. Get tight. Yes, receive. Get tight, get tight. He's pushing the car to the limits, and you can really see on a few of the turns he takes, he's, he's barely in control of the car. There's no deviation. It's straight on. We are still Shipton Road, heading towards York City. Vehicles throw on red. Might need pedal cyclist. Oh, close. Okay. Unable to manoeuvre him across due to a cyclist. The stolen car is minutes from the city centre and reaching speeds of 90 miles an hour. Poppleton Road, traffic light. Try and cinch up behind us, but try and get a box on uh, a suitable point ahead. To them, it's like a computer game. It's not reality. The risks aren't real. They are. A fatality waiting to happen. One seven. We need to stop it from getting any closer to six seven. Yeah. Saturday, that place is rammed. We're running out of time. And the minute it takes that left-hand turn and starts going towards the city, you can hear it in people's voices. There's a bit of tension. It's time to get tight, then we're going to stop it. Yeah, if you have something to do with them. If that car was allowed to go on its way into the city, make no mistake about it, people were at risk that day. They've not given way at any junction, they've gone through red lights, they've, re they've gone down the York Ring Road on the wrong side of the road, forcing cars out of the way. They don't care about people. To them, they're just making a, a fun video with their mates. It's unbelievable. These are despicable people. Coming up... A lone traffic cop needs help stopping another dangerous driver. And anger... Knee again! Knee him again! ..turns to tears... <laughs> ..for a suspect driver. Can end up with a job at any set, rinse the car off so it's good to go out. Keep waiting, old boy. Look at the state of this, mate. Traffic cops Rich Clark and Rich Ellis are at the start of a long night shift. 
You should get a sun visor that says rich and rich. It's a busy time for drink drivers, who last year caused more than 500 deaths. 12 hours with this lad here, Constable Ellis. Give up. I see him, man. Work, I see my he? wife. Three hours later. Do you know what, Golf? Speed is 6 0. A colleague is trying to stop a car being driven dangerously in the north of the county. Speed is currently 8 0 mile an hour. Drive. Two one on route. I'm on a change. Confirm his driver vehicle, please. One of the other lads, some Tadcaster, has got a vehicle failing to stop for him. VW Golf, that's all we know. Speed has increased to 9 0 in the 6 0. It's half 11, this job. It's got all the, the writings on the wall. This is a drink driver who doesn't want to stop. We're out of the village now, speed 7-0, heavy braking, so right, I'm better, stand by, stand by. Any turn could be a crash, so you're listening for that. Are we going to get crash, 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 which you hear quite often, so we've got to get there and take up position to end it. The county's absolutely massive. Craig's a good driver, though, you know. Yeah, he is, yeah. quick. It's a left, 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 left go road. So we're about parallel with him over there. What's the results, please? We're now heading as fast as we can towards Craig, playing on blue lights. The road network to get to Craig is ultimately A roads, long, fast roads, but unlit roads. Speed is 1 0 0. No traffic on the road. Then that's 10 minutes out. We've got the helicopter on route, so the helicopter should be above them soon. Three more cars are now heading to help Craig. Try to think the best way to stop this. Including Sergeant Rich Harrison. So it's picked you up, it's come back to where it started. You just look at the map and try and get ahead of it from this route before, try and get Stinger out. We're entering the 30s at 80 into the village of Rasko. The vehicle was overtaken to the offside. Uh, just south of East Wold, uh, just coming over Shipton. No one, not one, not two, not two. Coming towards you. Will you south of me, please? Oscar Romeo 2 1, we're heading towards you, mate. We're coming north on A19. 10 4, 380, and A19 is southbound. Gone past, isn't he? <laughs> spinning, mate, spinning. Two one, you've got three cars, mate. Now. With the speeds that are getting quoted, 120, 90 mile an hour, going through villages. Oh, you look at the map, in, See where this is going to come out. Look at it towards the main road and get some people on there to sting us, please. Unfortunately, area is going. We are struggling. When Empass arrives, when Empass has got sighting, we're going to drop back. Is that received? Yes, yes, that's our knowledge. Up from 2-1. I'm on that road ahead of you now. I'm going to try and get a super place for a stinger, Craig. That knowledge, thank you. Where's well, helicopter? Don't know. I'm lit up like a Christmas tree, though, now. We've got your camera in the distance. We're just playing catch-up now. Uh, but we have got you. We're just closing the gap. Overtaken two vehicles on the left-hand bend. We're going to turn the carriageway. Once it's done, I am happy to a box. We're now into 20 minutes of blue light run on a night, fast speeds. Ordinarily, your pursuit's ended by now. We're in it for the long haul here. We've got somebody in that car who is pedalling hard, knows the roads. Hey, Pass, yeah, we've caught up. Uh, we've got the uh, subject car now, yeah. Helicopter's there. Helicopter's up now. We've got air support with us now. Got yeah, wider view. Do we still have a stinger unit at Thornland, eh? Yeah, I'm trying to get ahead of them, uh, 19 Hobbsway Junction, I think that's where they make them out. This boy has been that's leading us a merry dance, hasn't he, for, what, yeah. 20, 20 minutes? If he uh, sticks on this road, doesn't look to be any other turn-offs. Do we have a stinger out of that location? Yeah, 
So we're being told now to drop back a bit for the stinger. So obviously what we don't want is the bandit car going through the stinger, being stung, and then all the police cars going over the spikes too. He's going to be approaching in the next minute or so. I've got a stinger up. Just shoot car, can you leave a good gap please? It's windy roads, but it's bumpy roads as well, so you've got to contend with a windy road that's like a roller coaster. Hey, one standby approaching the uh, junction. And it is over the stinger, and it is right, right, right now. So his tyres will be going down now, so we need to be tight, ready for a decam and a chase on foot. Come on, boys, keep it tight. Don't lose right, him now. Right, right, Don't lose him now. It's still going at some speed, general direction at A19. Hopefully when he gets to negotiate a bend now, come to a junction, that's where he's going gonna, he's gonna to falter. Is the vehicle slowing down or anything yet? But, uh, it's slowed down, it's out of that junction now, and it is right, right, right. Well, they, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Zero, we're going to speed it towards you. Get tighter, tighter. I am doing, going. Stopped, uh, contact made. Get him. I'm getting down. Come here. Get your arm out. Get your arm out. On the floor. On the floor now. Get down. You got him. Got him. Under arrest, mate. Fail to stop. Better look next time, fella. Next I'm going to seat you up. All right. Got him. Stay there. What's the boat then? I don't know. I've just... I'm having... Is that a drink? Yeah? No, I'm having a really, really bad time at the moment. Well, you didn't excuse what you've done today, does it? just got a whole lot worse, hasn't it? What an absolute fool you are. I know. Yeah, Putting yourself and everybody else at risk. Have you done one of these before? Good lad. Blow in the other. Blow. Not set, mate. What's that here coming from? Awesome. 61, so you're further estimate for a rim. Driving a motor vehicle with excess alcohol in your system, all right, it's under caution. The driver is nearly twice the legal limit. Lucky you're alive. They're lucky other people that you've met on the road, they're alive as well. Otherwise, it's an entirely different story, isn't it? It's bad enough as it is now, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse, couldn't it? I'm not happy with this lad at all. I detest drink drivers, detest drug drivers. We've all seen the damage and destruction that these idiots cause. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Don't, yeah, don't get up, pal. Don't get up, honestly. The driver is facing charges of drink driving, dangerous driving and failing to stop, and possibly up to two years in prison. I need to know about anything sharp, anything that's going to hurt me, no? Right. Any drugs on you, mate? All that up. Oh, you what do you mean you don't think so? <laughs> take this belt off you. Will these fall down if I take this off you? Probably. Probably. Well, you're handcuffed. Like, stay on for now till we get to custody, yeah. all right? You live round here, don't you? You know these roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Could tell where you were driving. No, I lost. No. What's your head? Took a seat. There you go, mate. And he's going to get a big shock in the coming days and months when he's before a magistrate with the capers he's been showing tonight. It was like a rabbit in the headlights, straight over the stinger, all rabbit, four wheels. Rabbit. Great bit of teamwork all around the county to join him. Even after we've stung it, it's still not stopped. So at what point was he actually going to stop? The A19, busy trunk road. And if he gets a wobble on, he's into Mr and Mrs Miggins coming home from the theatre or whatever. Head on, different ball game altogether. We've gone from a pursuit to a fatality. Coming up. Officers hunt down a suspect driver. Why have you got blood on your hand? And high on drugs. Stay there, show your hand. A driver on the run. Get yourself out now before your mate gets locked up.
Good evening, mate. Free speech. Hey, I'm mate. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. I've got a bit of a blocked right here, but other than that, I'm all right. A blocked right here. Is it making you walk around in circles? In North Yorkshire, traffic cop Ben Prosser Waite is three hours into a night shift. Whereabouts are you now? Just stood in the kitchen in town. At control, an emergency call has come in from a village pub. A drunk male has left a restaurant nearby, left drunk in his car after not paying the bill. We're going to head into sort of the area where his car's registered to and see if it uh, pops up somewhere. What's going to zero? What time did you approximately leave? The call coming in at 10.38. Alarm bells are ringing at this point. This person, if they do continue to drive, if they can't make it out of a car park, then they can't make a sound judgment to pay for the bill. They shouldn't be anywhere near a steering wheel. Ben and several other traffic cops are responding. I've been in the job a fair bit now, and you know that that person's more than likely going to attempt to drive home. They're going to want to go back to a place that they know. You just hope that they've not just left a trail of destruction. Yeah, I can confirm it's parked on the driveway. Where are you? Whoa. Someone at window. Someone's phoned us saying that you've been involved in a collision with a wall in your vehicle that's out there. In me what? In me what? Cr crashed into a wall and then you've then driven off and then come back to this address. So we've come to this address to see if your vehicle's here. Said vehicle's here. So we're going to require to provide a specimen of breath. Have you had anything to drink in the last 20 minutes? Well, I have in the last 20 minutes. How long ago? I've had a wine. Yeah, what's your first name? My name? Yeah. Bart. We're going to play silly games, are we? Yeah. Why? Because I don't like it. Have you shagged my wife? Do us a favour, sit down a minute for I'll me, buddy. I'll tell you what, I won't sit down. Please sit down. If you're going to put me down, you'll put me down, but I'm not going to sit down. You're asking you nicely, aren't you? No, I'm asking you nicely. Yeah. Do you just let me lean against the wall here? You can lean against the wall. Have you shagged my wife? Right. Just chill. You want to chill out, don't you? His wife. Just chill out, because you just did my fat belly then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Don't do it. You're going to have to take me down. You need to take me down. Because if you're going to take me down between you... What you've got to do is just chill, Beans. Because what we're here to do is our job. You said you'd had a glass of wine, and we have to allow that time in between you having your glass of wine to me getting a breath test from it. I got back. That's not uncommon for people to lie to us. We're not stupid, we were not born yesterday, the car's still warm, the car's got fresh damage, we know where it's been, we're not daft. Just don't lie to us. While Mark and Ben detain the suspect, Special Constable Josh Hill begins a search of his car. Essentially, we're just looking for the car keys. One way of proving that he's been driving is him having the keys on him. But just try to roll that one out. the keys out in the house and they're not in there but we get it quite a bit where cars will beat us home um, and they'll go in and they might have another drink um, so we just try to get a, a sample of breath from him to then uh, work out if he is over the limit which I think he is because he can barely string a sentence but we'll uh, we'll find out have you done one of these before these breath tests not a trick question. No. Right, so take a deep about. breath in. If you don't take a deep breath in and give me a specimen, then you'll just get arrested for failing to provide, all right? Well. Yeah, so. And then I'll go to. Are you, gonna, are you gonna give me a specimen? Yeah, go on. Right, so deep breath in. Can so I hold you don't, it, no, you don't need to hold it, mate. Deep breath in. What do you need to hold it? Just take a deep breath in, put your lips around the tube. Can't kiss it. No. Right. Right. Take a deep breath in. Well then. Seal your lips with blow. You need to blow. It tells me if you're blowing or not, and you're not blowing. 
So at this moment in time, mate, you're right. under arrest on suspicion of failure to provide, all right? No, I'm too busy. Grab his arm, grab, grab that arm. Don't, don't carry I'm too busy. Ah! You're further under arrest for resisting arrest, all right? Sorry, cheers. Tell you what, I will smack you off face. And to get a specimen. If you went in my house tonight and you didn't have these handcuffs on me, I will smack you off house, but I love you to bits. I thought I were doing him a favour. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to search you. Have you got any pockets? Yeah. What have you got? 18 ounces smack. Ow! Knee him again! Knee him again! Do not kick out! Yeah. You're also further under arrest for assault police. Yeah. Turn your head. Calm, lads. Okay. Calm, um, lads. One, two, three. Okay. Stand up. Uh, Hope you get. Stand up. Oh, it's, big, it's big good for your neighbours, won't it? Fella. Great for your neighbours. What's your head? Stand up for me. Hope you get. Thank you. See you to me. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, lads. Just leave him there, Josh, if you can sit. He's just made his night a lot worse. He has, hasn't he? Oh, silly, we were getting on so well. Yeah. Don't know why he's done it, because he's only been nine minutes down the road. He just started playing silly beggars with the breath machine. He's ended up biting the, the tube off. And then whilst I've been searching him, he struck me with a knee strike, took knee, took leg. Paul just had too much to drink. Go on, fella. Sit yourself up at the same time. What's your head, man? Right, stand yourself up. Come on, lad. Stand yourself up. I'm not a rough thing. Come on, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Right, lad. I'll get some shoes and I'll be with you. The suspect will be taken to York Police Station for a breath test and a night in the cells. Come on. I'm gonna get it. Careful, careful, mate. Come on, I'm just. Even like a hop, you're like him, mate. I know what you're doing. I'm gonna get it. I just want to go home. Why? I just want to go home. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Are you alright like that? Are you on a set? I'm on it. I'm on it. Alright. Just give us two minutes. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Follow you down, and that way, then release him out, and we'll take him. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. I think he's clipped to wall whilst obviously heavily intoxicated, um, and then just obviously, obviously grazed all the bottom of his car here, which um, he's probably going to regret tomorrow. We'll see how he behaves at York. Do I feel sorry for him? No word, no, I don't because he's made that decision to put himself in danger. He made the decision to put other people in danger. He's damaged somebody else's property, he's damaged his own property. His family's seen him being arrested and dragged out of the house. I feel sorry for the family. They shouldn't see that. Something about somebody shagging someone else. But he's been heard to say, let me in the house. Then a further course of the nails out the street, shagging the house down, so I don't imagine it's some sort of thing. 895, if you show some, uh, Oscar Rowe with 70 on it as well, we're head across. It's 10pm, and traffic cop Mark Davey is on patrol with Special Constable Josh Hill. So you use attending, um... Ah, oh, that's where we had that OPL. You remember when me, you and Ben? Was it you that locked him up? Yeah. 895, if it's the same one we dealt with the um, occupant from that address recently, he's quite an aggressive chap, and I think um, three of us end up putting him to the ground because he assaulted one of us. Yeah, that's the same, thank you. OK, we'll be up with you shortly. If it's the same guy, he's, he's aggressive, he kicked one of our colleagues the last time we were here, so uh, we'll see what he's got to say for himself this time. Next left. Yeah, it's the um, 
that's the same property that we were at last time. We are six on the road if uh, the other unit's nearby just want to come down. Now then. Now then. How are you doing? All right, how are you? Not too bad. What's been going on tonight then? Oh, come on. So you instantly think I'm a right wrong and don't you? Why do I? I don't know. Tell me. Are you taking me away? I dealt with you a few months ago, didn't I? Did you? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a good lack of blood about here, are I was, yeah. Why have you got blood on your hands? Punch wall in the house. Which wall? My house. Which wall? Go in the house and have a look, mate. All right, good God, bad God. But I don't think you know the meaning of that, do you? I don't know. Do I? Have you had much to drink tonight? Yeah, I've had loads. What have you yeah. had to drink tonight? What? Like what? Been on spirits or...? Oh, aye. As Josh detains the man, Mark speaks to his friends. Allegedly, he's threatening to burn the place down or something. Yeah. Has he been out on the booze, I'll take it? Yeah. Right. He was absolutely fine until... just all of a sudden he was... It's just... It's... Drinking. Right. Just gets out of band every time. Like that. Yeah, he's not hurt he anyone. Right. He's it's just raised his voice, had a bit too much to drink, but if I can talk to him, I can calm him down. Yeah, you no, can speak to him if you want, mate. He can't wait to take me away, can he? Do you know what I mean? My best mate, mate he? five minutes, keep him calm, get him off to his mum's because there's someone coming. He's, he's not going anywhere at the minute, oh, mate. No, he's not going anywhere, he's under arrest. No, you're not. You just, well, well, you're just not going anywhere until I've worked out what's happened here. Because right. we've been called for a reason, haven't we? So yeah, until we establish what that reason is... No, because I've been shouting in back garden, that's why you're here. Why have you rung us, have you? No, I... So there you go, you can't tell me what the report is if you aren't rung us. After speaking to witnesses, there's enough evidence to take the man away for questioning. You're under arrest at this time on suspicion yeah. of making threats to commit arson. So you do not have ah, to say anything. Ah, you do not have to say anything. It may harm right. your defence if you fail to mention when questions from your letter line in court. Right. So I'll let you finish your cig and then I need you to step out for us so we can give you a pat down and a search, mate. All right. Go on then, pat me down, lads. Oh, I'm just going to put some cuffs on. All right. Go on then. I'll put them yeah. to the front if you're going to be all right with us. Cheers for that. Will you just grab the cuffs? Yes, mate, I've got him. Go on. Go, Just watch your foot, mate. I don't want you to stand on that cigarette, do I? That's right, lads. Go on. It's my favourite place going to York. Is it? These days, yeah. Why is that? I like people like you. Uh, I do. You can do. Yeah. yeah. Just stand still for me, mate, because my colleague's just going to have like, a pat down. Have you got Love it on you? Yeah. What have you got? My phone, yeah. my wallet. 18 grams of coke. There might be some weed in there if you can dig deep enough. Just be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah. Just be quiet. Scratch cards in there, have you had a winner? I ain't scratched them yet, to be oh, honest. We never know. Yeah. Maybe you all had to go scratch them. If we all get to be millionaires, maybe we can all quit as day jobs, can't we? Arsonist. Look at me. Am I an arsonist? Look at me. I right. don't even own a lighter. Come on, take me away, lads. Right. He's been sat there drinking today. He's had a few drinks and literally someone said to him just to move his drink because the dog was about to knock it over. And it sounds like he's just lost the plot, gone off into one. Let me just uh, lock them cuffs so they don't get I've in. done it, mate. Oh, you've done it? Yeah, double locked them. Cheers. I'm a rake criminal, aren't I? Drop yourself in. Watch your head, mate. Yeah. Take a seat. Have you shagged my wife? No, mate. Are you sure? Are you sure? All right. Thanks a lot, mate. No worries, right, I'll sit one, a couple month. more months. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, yeah, buddy. See you soon. Take care. Yeah, Why well, not see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Coming up. Just going to test your slave of cannabis cocaine, all right? Driving high on drugs. I, I, had, I had a spliff, yeah. It looks like a bit of cocaine. That's good evidence. Stop. Traffic cop Sergeant Rich Harrison and officers from North Yorkshire's specialist search team are tracking a suspect car. Just got a vehicle failing to stop just up ahead, so we're going to try and get onto the back of it. Reason 
Yeah, we're towards the ring road now, at the roundabout. Wrong side of the roundabout. Oh, you're joking. I've just been there. As Rich heads towards the suspect car, it's turned in the opposite direction. Pulling away from us, mate. Straight over. Straight over the roundabout. Oh, you are joking me. I'm just going to do a broadcast to get another result towards you. Update, please, on Cashew. You're on route. Update, five on route. What's going on Around the corner. No traffic, no pedestrians. With Rich racing to catch up, another unit manages to stop the car. Stay there, show your hands. Here you go. Tell them to stop and stop. But one of its occupants has fled on foot. Mate, put a containment round here. There's a Yeah, six of three with decamp. It's probably in the garden near us. As Rich arrives, a police drone is launched to search for the missing suspect. What's he at this? Yeah. How's he at it? It's really important now that we get hold of that driver because not only has he caused mayhem out on the roads, we need to know why. Get yourself out now before your mate gets locked up. Six double three, we've also got the drone up as well. Get yourself here now. Coming out towards that tree there. Six double three, we've got it. Six double three, we had the drone up above, he's obviously seen that and give himself up to us. He's now handed himself in, all are accounted for. There's no none outstanding now, mate, uh, it's all in order. At the moment, mate, I'm going to arrest you at this time, especially this vehicle stolen. No, it's not stolen. I told him just stop and speak to him. I'll be honest, mate, mate, I don't know if you just jumped seats. What's up here? So the white Audi, it's, it's flown round this corner and hit this parked car here, causing quite substantial damage. Car stinks of cannabis. Two, lads from Sheffield, during the night up in York, you know, what they're doing, why they failed to stop for police. Because of the smell of cannabis and obviously the demeanour of you at this time, it's going to test your saliva of cannabis and cocaine, all right? What, you need to do, stick your tongue out for me? The men are tested for drugs. Get a swap from the inside of you Wait, I'm signing the passenger. Why are you arresting me for something I've not? Well, we'll get to the bottom of that, won't we? Both suspects deny they were driving. The job kind of just starts now. When we have these things, the pursuit lasts for a matter of minutes, but all the inquiries and the investigation after it lasts for quite a while. What's your first name, fella? Sorry? What's your first name? Why? Why? So you don't want to give me your name. Yeah. Anyway, just jump out then. If you don't want to give me your name, I'm just going to search you. Obviously, you stink of weed and so does the car. Yeah, I, I, had, I had a spliff, yeah. I'm the smoke, I'm not nothing. I'm Turn nobody. around and face the car. You're a nobody. I don't know who you are, do I? You're not telling me that. Right? You have to keep facing that way. While the man is searched, the drug test results from the other suspect are ready. I think cocaine more than anything. Yeah, it's definitely a faint one on cocaine. This is the drugs that they found, and it's been found on the hedge where he's walked out of. So he's, he's obviously had it in his pocket and before he's given himself up, he's thrown it to try and disassociate himself with it. But it's, um, it looks like a bit of cocaine. But he's failed a drug swipe anyway for cocaine, so that's good evidence. So you're also under arrest possession of Class B yeah, drug, OK? Use. Obviously, there's cannabis on you as yeah, well. Yeah, use, Have you got any more on you? No, man. At this time, mate, you're also under arrest possession of being concerned in supply of Class A drug, OK? Yeah, being concerned in supply of Class okay. A drug. Some items have been seized, but I believe your colleague in the vehicle has been possession of. You've been yeah, present in this car until he establish what's going on. Wait. Do you understand that? No. So you say you found Class A there? So why is he locking me up, fam? Because the blue is connected to supply. you in this vehicle. Sorry? So what's both of them in there? Can I sit down? Yeah, you can sit there. Just keep your feet out there for me, please. It's really important for us that we identify the driver because if we're not going to get them on anything else, we'll get them on dangerous driving. And not only does it take the driving licence from them, but it can also see them spend some time in jail. And that's what we want to see. He's also under S, that's drug driving. For what? Because there's cannabis in your system. Yeah. I can't confirm with drivers at this time. You're getting me done for a little tiny joint. That, that's the least of your worries at the minute, because obviously you've been locked up for multiple offences. Yeah. Until the cops determine who was behind the wheel, both men are arrested on suspicion of drug driving. I'm not going to run. Hello? Huh? I'm not going to run. When people fail to stop, it can be a whole host of reasons. You know, these, these lads are from out of area. We've found what we believe is cocaine. The car stinks of cannabis. Step on there, my driver. Are they part of the county lines team? Have they out uh, visiting friends and they've been partying? 
you know, they're dealing drugs. And, and that's what we'll do now, you know, we'll seize mobile phones, have a look at what drugs have been recovered, have a look at what intelligence we can get from South Yorkshire and kind of start investigating them and, you know, and see what job we can do on them. Pursuits are the most dangerous things we can do. We don't know who's in the vehicle, we don't know why they're fleeing. We've got the public to think about. It's so high risk. There's so many different things that can go wrong in a pursuit. They're just inherently dangerous, and it's why we work so hard to try and avoid them if we can. In this episode... It's overtaking vehicles at the opposite side of the carriageway. Throwing bottles at us. After a death-defying high-speed pursuit in York... Oh, look at that! Oh, that was close. Currently 5-0 in a 3-0. The driver was immediately recalled to prison for offending on licence. Police behind us, Mush. Oh, we're not messing about, mate. Oh, me and the two white Mush in the front, Mush. Wham! Wham! Yo! He was further jailed for 20 months and banned from driving for two years for taking a vehicle without consent, dangerous driving and disqualified driving. Oh, I just missed that. That was close. Try and cinch up behind us and try and get a box on uh, a suitable point ahead. The front seat passenger was jailed for 12 months and also banned from the roads for two years for dangerous driving. <laughs> Each of the men have criminal records spanning more than 20 years for offences including burglary, dangerous driving and disqualified driving. No action was taken against the rear seat passenger for any offences. Go ahead. We've got three males no one outstanding. Speed has increased to 9-0 in the 6-0. No, it's a good job. It's come back to where it started. The drunk golf driver pursued from air to ground, who was almost twice the limit at the roadside. And it is over the stinger, and it is right, right, right now. The tyres will be going down now, so we need to be tight, ready for a decam and a chase on foot. Come boys, keep it tight. Don't lose right, it right, now. Right, Don't right, lose right, it now. Good. Was in prison for 10 months and banned from driving for 23 months for drink and dangerous driving. On the floor! On the floor now! Get down! You got him. Got him. You're under arrest, mate. Fail the stop. Better luck next time, fella. Leaving without paying the bill for over £100 worth of food. The male driver has hit a wall with his vehicle. The drunk man, who allegedly fled from a restaurant without paying and making off in his car. What have you got? 18 ounces smack. Knee oh. again! Knee him again! Do not kick out! Is still under investigation on suspicion of assaulting a police officer and drunk driving, and also on suspicion of making threats to commit arson. Arsonist, look at me. I'm an arsonist, look at me. I right. don't even own a lighter. Come on, take me away, <laughs> lad. No action was taken against the man for failing to pay his bill. Have you shagged my wife? No, mate. Are you sure? Are you sure? And... We've got a vehicle saying stop inbound. All right, Audi. It's not a drive-in, um, it was all over the road. The two young men arrested after a car failed to stop for officers... Stay there, show your hands. Here you go. Get yourself here now. Coming up towards that tree there. Six to three, we've got him were both released under investigation. I think cocaine more than anything. Yeah, it's definitely a faint one on cocaine. Whilst police further their inquiries and await test results on the phones and drugs found on them. That's kind of use, personal use. I, I, had, I had a split, yeah. Police are also waiting for the results of their drug driving test. This is the drugs that they found if he's thrown it to try and disassociate himself with it, but it, it looks like a bit of cocaine. 